Shalom, peace and well-being, One Life Kingdom kids and friends. I am so happy to see you today. Thank you for taking time out and joining Miss Lisa for another wonderful lesson. Today's topic is the birth of Jesus, the Son of God. Before we get started, let's pray. Repeat after me. Dear God, open my ears that I may hear your truth. Open my eyes that I may see your truth. Open my heart that I may know and do your will. In Jesus' name, amen. Great. Did you know that the birth of Jesus was foretold to the prophets of old hundreds and hundreds of years before he was born? That is true. The prophet of Isaiah was told by God about the birth of Jesus hundreds and hundreds of years before he was born. In Isaiah chapter 9 verses 6 through 7, of the New Living Testament, tra New Living Translation Bible, it reads, for a child is born to us and a son is given to us. The government will rest on his shoulders and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His government and his peace will never end. He will rule with fairness and justice from the throne of his ancestor, David, for all eternity. The passionate commitment of the Lord of the heaven's army will make this happen. Also, in Isaiah chapter 7, we read of another scripture, verse 14 of the New Living Translation. All right, then, the Lord himself will give you the sign. Look. The virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel, meaning God is with us. You might know some young men in your class or at your school named Emmanuel. Well, that's a biblical name and their, their parents probably got it from the Bible. Once again, Emmanuel means God with us. It's a tradition in our family on Christmas Day, before we open any gifts, our family gathers and we read the birth of Jesus that's found in Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 18. And I'd like to share the account of Jesus with you. So if you'd like to read along with me or listen to Miss Lisa, Feel free to do so. Luke chapter 2, beginning at verse 1 through verses 18. At the time, the Roman Emperor Augustus decreed that a census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. That means Caesar Augustus said, we're going to count everybody who's a part of the Roman Empire. And back in those days, the Roman Empire was large, so they wanted to count everyone. This was the first census that was taken by Quirinius, who was governor of Syria. All returned to their own ancestral towns to register for this census. And because Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, David's ancient home. He traveled there from the village of Nazareth and Galilee. He took with him Mary, to whom he was engaged, who was now expecting a child. And when they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. She gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him snugly in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger 
because there was no lodging available for them. There was no room at the inn, and the inn is kind of like a hotel. Like when we go on vacation or we go to town, we stay at a hotel. But when Joseph and Mary arrived in Bethlehem, there was no room because everybody had gone there for the census. So they found room in a stable where the animals live. So Mary had her baby. She wrapped him in cloth and put him in a manger. And that's like a feeding trough for the animals. That's where she laid her precious baby boy. That night, there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified. But the angel reassured them, do not be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah of the Lord has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. And you will recognize him by this sign. You will find a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth, lying in a manger. Suddenly, the angels were joined by a vast host of others and the armies of, the, of heaven, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to those whom God is well pleased. When the angels had returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. They were excited. So they hurried to the village and found Mary and Joseph and there was the baby lying in the manger. After seeing him, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had said to them about this child. All who heard the shepherd's story were astonished, but Mary kept all these things in her heart and thought about them often. The shepherds went back to their flocks glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. It was just as the angel had told them. I hope you enjoyed that account of the birth of Jesus. I'd like to show you a video entitled, Jesus Was Born. Now, let me tell you, make sure you listen because the game you're gonna play will have the answers within this video. So listen carefully, enjoy. When sin entered the world, peace between God and people was broken, but God promised to send a rescuer. Many years later, Isaiah the prophet said, a child will be born for us, a son will be given to us. He will be called the Prince of Peace. Isaiah said the Prince of Peace would be from Galilee. God chose to send his son, Jesus, to the earth as a baby, and he chose Mary to be Jesus' mother. During the time Mary was pregnant with baby Jesus, the Roman Emperor Caesar Augustus announced that everyone needed to be registered for a census. Every person traveled to the town where his family was from. Mary was engaged to Joseph. Since Joseph was a descendant of King David, he and Mary left their home in Nazareth of Galilee and traveled to Bethlehem, the city of David. While they were there, the time came for Mary to have her baby. Mary and Joseph looked for a safe place for Mary to have her baby but every place was full because of all the people who were in town to be counted. So Mary and Joseph found a place where animals were kept, and that is where Mary had her baby. She wrapped baby Jesus tightly in cloth, and she laid him in a manger. In the same region, 
Some shepherds were staying out in the fields and watching their sheep to protect them from thieves and predators. All of a sudden, an angel of the Lord stood before them. A bright light shone around the shepherds and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I have very good news for you. Today, a savior who is Messiah the Lord was born for you in the city of David. Then the angel said, you will find a baby wrapped tightly in cloth and lying in a manger. A king in a manger? That was no place for a king. All of a sudden, many angels appeared praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to people he favors. So the shepherds went straight to Bethlehem to find baby Jesus. They found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the feeding trough. The shepherds went and told others about the baby Jesus. Everyone who heard about Jesus was surprised and amazed. Mary thought about everything that was happening and tried to understand it. The shepherds returned to their fields, praising God because everything had happened just as the angel had said. The birth of Jesus was good news. Jesus was not an ordinary baby. He was God's son, sent to earth from heaven. Jesus came into the world to bring peace between people and God. He came to save people from their sins and to be their king. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you were a good listener because now it's time to play the Christmas cookie game. Some of the questions, the answers to the questions we didn't cover. So if you want to get 100% or a perfect score on the Christmas cookie game, you need to read Matthew chapter 2 verses 1 through 12. Or you can have someone read to you Matthew chapter 2 verses 1 through 12. Or you know what? You can just wing it. And who knows? You might know the answer because our kingdom kids are smart. So enjoy playing the Christmas cookie game. Hey, friends. Oh, I'm, I'm so glad you're here. I've just been baking some delicious Christmas cookies. There's just one teeny tiny, not really a huge deal, but actually kind of it is problem. I burnt most of the cookies, and then accidentally iced them all. So now I can't tell which cookies are yummy and which ones will taste like dirt. Oh, but maybe you can help. I've laid out all of the cookies for a Bible trivia game about the very first Christmas. I think I put all of the burnt cookies next to the wrong answers and the good cookies next to the right answers. If you can just help me answer all the questions, we can find those yummy, non-burned Christmas cookies. I'll read the questions, and you just shout out one, two, or three based on which cookie has the right answer. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty hungry for cookies, so let's get started. Who visited Mary to let her know she was going to have a baby? One, a stork. Two, an angel. Three, a doctor. Remember, shout out one, two, or three based on which cookie you think is correct. Okay, time's up. Who said cookie number two? You're correct. You found one of the good cookies. Oh, let's see if we can find another. What was the name of Mary's husband? One, Joey. Two, Johnny Boy. Three, Joseph. Okay, time's up. Who said cookie number three? You're correct. That's two tasty cookies found. Just four more to go. 
Where did Mary place baby Jesus after he was born? One, in a crib. Two, in a stocking. Three, in a manger. Remember, shout out one, two, or three based on which cookie you think is correct. Okay, time's up. Who said cookie number three? Correct again. Great job, everyone. <laughs> Let's see if we can find another cookie. To whom did the angels announce that Jesus had been born? One, shepherds. Two, King Herod. Three, Bob the innkeeper. Okay, time's up. Who said cookie number one? That is correct. Oh, we've only got two tasty cookies left to find. What direction did the wise men come from? One, the west. Two, the east. Three, the south. Okay, time's up. That was a tough cookie. <laughs> Who said number two? That is correct. Oh, great job, everyone. Oh, think you can help me find one last cookie? Oh, perfect. Um, which one of these was a gift the wise men brought for Jesus? One, silver. Two, gold. Three, Diamonds. Okay, time's up. Who said cookie number two? That is correct. The wise men brought several gifts, including gold, to Jesus and his parents. And now, thanks to you, we have several golden brown cookies to eat. You are the best. Thank you. How did you do? Did you score 100 or did you score highly? Yeah, you know what? It's a shame he burnt some of those cookies because those cookies look delicious. <laughs> Celebrate Jesus. The birth of Jesus, our Savior, is good news. He is God's Son, sent to earth from heaven. Jesus came into the world to bring peace between people and God. He came to save people, you and I, from our sins and to be our Lord and our King. Well, it's time to say goodbye. But I'd like to leave you with the greetings of Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, and remember to celebrate Jesus, God's son, who came to earth for everyone. Shalom, peace, and well-being.